Hello, it's James Hartigan with Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. And Joe, considering what you've been through recently and the boring anecdotes that you've thrown in my general direction, I don't want to bring up the subject bad beats, but that is the topic of this video. Hey, look, every beat's a bad beat when you're Joe Stapleton. Imagine, final table bubble. You've got aces. The short stack moves all in. You are loving life, but there is a reason why this video is called Bad Beats. John DeBella, first to speak, looks down, a pocket nines. Nines worked out pretty well for him last time. I know DeBella's superstitious. I hope he doesn't go too crazy with them. Work it out, buddy. Work it out. I'm just gonna go put the kettle on. James, I think he's got it. Come back. 250,000. Lee Goldman has kings. Lee Short, I assume it's all going in. He hasn't been all that active. Gotta wonder if John will factor this into his decision making at all when it's back on him. He does shove for nearly 1.1 million. Folded around to David Bernstein on the button. Pocket fives. Another pair. Bernstein's pretty short as well, but I don't think he can be third in with a pair this low. Yeah, he mucks. And Ruben Vissa's got tens. OMG, in Ruben's case, he's probably better off letting one of these two guys go broke or nearly broke and just laddering up. Fine. He will give it up. For us, folds the big blind. It's back on Debella. Debella with the third worst hand we've seen. It's probably eight, eight, was that 840? I call. He makes the call. DeBella made a hasty call, but ultimately won the math would usually dictate anyways. However, now he's a four to one dog. <laughs> and the John DeBella fan club full silent. Goldman set for a double up. DeBella will be left with one million. Boy, he sure looks nervous about it. So far, so good. Goldman has the king of spades as backup. Fives would have flopped and open-ended. Yeah, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Jack on the turn. Goldman smiling now. Just one more card left to fade. Two outs for DeBella. Goldman set for the double up. But it's a nine! Yeah! 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 That's just terrible. And the nine hitting the river is pretty awful too. Hard to act like you've been there before if you've never been there before. I understand DeBella's excited to make the final, but show some consideration for poor Lee Goldman. Brother. Brother. Oh my God. Oh, hello. Aces for Andre Lubavetsky. Go on. Sneaky, just a call. I love it. Ponce and Barry have both folded. Juan Ponce de la Fold. Florian Maurer has pocket eights in the big blind. Eighty. Bad time for a squeeze, Florian. They'll be. Fall from the original razor, but there's no way that Lubavetsky's folding. He's the effective stack here with 410k behind. And he is all in. Last time I saw a trap this good, a ghost was being sucked into it at the Millennium Biltmore Hotel. Wow, quick call from Maurer, who will see that he is crushed. And Lubavetsky is a 4-1 to one favorite to double up here. Love it. Maurer will be left with a bowl of rice. The flop is Jack 7-4. Maurer drawing to two outs. Lubavetsky now a nine to one favorite. Four on the turn, Maurer down to 5% equity. If the light is green, the trap is clean. The river card is an eight. That is not clean at all. Ooh, Maurer gets there. 
look, I got I got to step away. I got to go. Look, I, I, I'd be no good to you the rest of the day after this. A bad beat for Andrei Lubavetsky, which sees him eliminated in 25th place from the PCA main event. Me and Andre, I'll see you at the bar. Charles Cornuth first to speak here. He has ace-eight of diamonds. Here we go. All in. He's shoving. Ventura has pocket deuces. And he folds. Racing at best. Schultz with ace four. 1.4. 1375, I think. The chip leader calls. Nice hand. And Chance Cornuth is at risk. Schultz is behind, but it's a totally standard call against someone who knows shoving ranges, and Chance knows shoving ranges like a seasoned sumo wrestler. That's fine. At least the chopper. <laughs> I was going to say, I wouldn't mind chopping with him. I wouldn't mind chopping, he's a nice guy. They <laughs> say diamonds, yeah. You don't even have any diamonds. I have ace four, he has ace eight suited. I have a wheel draw. You do. These guys. <laughs> Let's run out the board. An ace jack five flop. Diamond was a good window card, yeah. Cornuth still ahead. Plenty of chopportunities. A jack's a really cool card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jack's a it's a very sweaty at the least. Wheel draw alert. Ooh. I don't think they realize that's actually a bad card for you. <laughs> I don't know. That's a really good card for me. Chance doesn't want to see a four or a deuce on the river. Deuce! Wow. Straightenized. Familia! And with Chance Cornuth out, Diego Ventura gets to play heads up against Kevin Schultz. Welcome to the table, sir. Pocket aces. Yeah, not bad. This is one of the best starting hands you can have. He understandably raises, makes it 8,500. Tom Hall has pocket tens in the cutoff. Luzerak just got to the table, and he raised from fairly early. I don't know if I can get behind a three bet here, and for Tom's sake, I'm hoping he keeps his pot small. He does re-raise. The three bet is 21,500. Everyone else has folded. It's back on Sluzerak. There's only two ways this can go. Although fold is an option that is available, I don't think he'll take it. Now I'm just gonna say one thing here, Tom. You better sluze a check yourself before you sluze a wreck yourself. It's a four bet to 49,000. I think there's just too many chips to get it all in here. Hall moves all in! Well, GG online qualifier, who's next? Hall. Sluzerek calls, and the qualifier's flame is about to be extinguished. Yeah, not good, Tom. Not good. I put my faith in you, Tom! He is a four to one underdog. Hearts. He's gonna need four or five of them. No hearts on the flop. Not a lot of hope there. All getting ready to head for the exit. The turn card is another deuce. Just two outs for Tom Hall. He needs a 10 on the river. Sluzerek, a 95% favorite. It's a 10! Oh, <laughs> suck out city. Jesus. Tom Hall binks a two outer to survive. And it's like winning a frivolous lawsuit. You're happy about it, but you're certainly not proud of it. You never expect it on the river. It's like the Spanish Inquisition. Hold it around to Vanessa Selbst in the small blind. Ace King. Vanessa's going to be raising a lot of hands, small to big, so Ace King is pretty much the top of her range here. She will raise. Makes it 75,000. Sean Deeb in the big blind has Ace 10. Wow, this is just a massive cooler blind on blind. And Deeb could re-raise, but he's got a hand he could already be thinking about getting a showdown against a player like Vanessa. He just calls. The flop, 10-3 deuce, top pair for Deeb on a very dry board. Vanessa continues for 60,000. Sean obviously not going anywhere. 
Teeb is raising, makes it 208,000. I love this raise. Obviously, we know Vanessa should fold, but I think when Sean raises on such a dry board, he's doing it to induce. So if Vanessa freaks here, I don't think there's any chance Sean's folding. She three bets to 465,000. Yeah, she freaked. Now, if she had a really strong hand here, I think Sean's going broke. As it stands, he's got her in absolute jail. On. He shoves. He's got her exactly where he wants her. I'm just clicking buttons over here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Huh. Story checks out. Which call I would shut the turn. This would be kind of crazy. Oh, sweet lord. She's talking herself into a call. She's not even getting two to one. Surely she finds a fold again. I call. Wow! I guess I should stop calling her Shirley. Smarts. Watson and Seaver have a great vantage point to watch this punt. It's the only hand. Nice hand. Thank you. I just leveled myself. Vanessa convinced herself there was some way Sean was doing this with a total air ball sometimes. Nope! Really good at hitting kings. Troyanovsky folded a king. You do, you do. You deserve it for that call. I was going to show you the ace if you folded too, which would have just sent you off. Oh no, Sean, what are you doing? Deep set for a double up here. Vanessa down to 5%. Oh god, it has to be 10 high. 10 3 2 rainbow. <laughs> nice hand. I almost just folded it to your. The river card. Is a king the miracle card for Vanessa? <laughs> Ew. Good hand. And Sean Deeb is out! That was the last hand of the level by hitting a two-outer. Chip leader Vanessa Selps takes out the former chip leader Sean Deeb, and she can't quite believe that just happened. Holy and if you're done throwing up, we will leave you for the day. Joe, remind people what they should do if they want to see more poker. They should subscribe. It's really easy. If you haven't figured it out by now, you know what? Don't even actually do subscribe. Yes, please do.